Anyways, uh, what's going on, my dudes? Midnight Sun Five and I back with another episode of uh, Mass Effect, the first one. So we're gonna go ahead and oh, why am I using a controller? Well, I guess I'll use a controller and I'll see what happens. I was using the uh, the keyboard last time, so I guess that means I'm gonna have to probably relearn how this game works with a controller. Uh. I don't remember exactly where we left off. I know we were on the planet, and then we came back up here after chasing down that dude that murdered the alien guy. Uh, and so that was cool. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. What? Do you really believe that, Commander? After what happened to you in Akuz? Are you saying you only survived because of random chance? Akuz was a bloodbath. Even now, I don't know how I survived. I guess it just wasn't my time yet. With respect, sir, I think you had somebody watching over you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before comes with being a marine but to see my whole unit wiped out and you never get used to seeing dead civilians oh is this the medical person a lot worse if you hadn't shown up we couldn't have done it without you Williams thanks commander I have to admit I was a maybe not medical she was just in a white and red suit it's nice when someone makes you feel welcome I think you're gonna fit in here just fine Williams thanks commander uh, okay who else can we talk to hello Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But you don't say. needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. Ah. And the Alliance okay. always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Is lieutenant the one that died? Commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Hmm. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Let's talk to this guy per, uh, as well. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Oh, okay. Glad to see you're also okay or something is there something i can do over here hello no you guys don't care about me all right that's cool i just realized that at the uh top center of the screen it's got an actual like button layout to tell you what to do i could go up in an elevator or i could be healthy and take the stairs i think i choose stairs it's all right i'll take the elevator on the way back down Hi. You can at ease or I'm something. Glad you're okay, Commander. 
Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yeah. Is this the bridge? Examine. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, this guy. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. So that's the Citadel? The giant railgun in space? That is the Citadel. <laughs> huh. That's cool looking. I like the purple. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Ah, oh, okay. Size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Coming a little hot there, aren't you, bud? That was a hard cut. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Hmm. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's not our fault. fault. Not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. And this is why we use body Come cams. with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Okay. And that's why I hate politicians. Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, important locations are marked on your map. Okay, there's like random the stuff here. Is an All right, I don't care. Combat, kinetic bear, medigel, biotics. Cool. Journal. Oh, my bad. That one. Go to the tower. Yep. Okay, what other buttons work? Ah. On me. Interesting. Big place. Yeah, I have to relearn all the buttons. So, sorry about that. Aliens from the animals. Oh. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. 
She had a particular concern about the Hydra system and was called before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send a recon team? I didn't realize I could hack computers. That's cool. I go this way? It's over here. Anything cool? Hello? Whoa. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Yeah. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. So what our brought you here? Is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council's space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. That's cool. What do you do here? Modestly, I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. <laughs> this human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. <laughs> Sincere farewell. Hello there, human. Hello there, Sincere Elkon. Apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Welcome back. Glorious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. You are very interesting to look at. Can I sprint? Nope. Why does every button pull out my gun? <laughs> Hello! Good day, Commander. The Good day. Ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Ah. Huh. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are Everybody's the distracted. Of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, 
Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. These are incredibly awkward. Uh, <laughs> like, these are not normal hum human interactions, you know? But I guess it's with aliens, so it's okay. My name is Avena, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel space station. Are you real? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. Yeah, but are you I real? also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Hmm. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves ah, as law CSEC. enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Lesser That's species. Pretty damn arrogant. Yeah. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians. The two there are so many different Citadel species States. to learn about. Holy crap. Roughly At least four. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago. Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified <laughs> judgment. 
My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Unfortunate. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I will, thank you. Ooh, can I fly a car? What is this? Use Cit Citadel Rapid Transit to travel more quickly between major locations. As you explore the Citadel, more locations will unlock. Do I have a map? I do. Uh, rapid Transport is those ones. Uh, those are Avenas. Oh. You just look at the thing on the left. Oh, it just says Point of Interest. We gotta talk to the Elcors. Could pop into CSEC HQ. So these must be the different places that we can, like, rapid transport between. There's a bank, an emporium. What the heck do you do at the emporium? We do need to go to the tower. Alright, let's walk into CSEC HQ over here on our right. And we're going to take a look, see if we can't say hello to some people. Doo -doo. Hello? Diplomat? Hi. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Okay, good for you. Yeah, I'll just leave all your crap open on the TV, that's cool. You are super weird looking. What the hell? Alright. Ah! Elcor! Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Okay. Good to meet you too, Mr. Elcor guy. Anything around here? What's in here? Oh, hold up. Sorry about that. Had a phone call. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. You a specter? Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, sure. Never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Uh, blah, 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 blah. That one. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the specters do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. <laughs> but they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Uh, there is a whole heck of a lot of information to be discovering here. Oh, fuck. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. A uh, few of us, 
Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking ETA cluster. Only as one body can be, or uh, only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Okay, little genocide, genocidal. Uh, I do say so myself. I guess we're gonna continue on walking around here. Oh, we already came in here. All right, so we're heading back. Let's uh, let's run over to the tower. Because I realize how much time we've spent today just kind of like walking around and talking to people. There's a lounge or something here. Hmm. Who are you? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Yeah, you look like it. What about over here? Anything over here? Just a spider dude cake. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's figure out how to leave. Well, here's a diplomat. This place seems strange. Wish there were more humans around. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, figure out our way over to the tower. To Citadel Tower. Let's try out this fast travel thing. Nope, never mind. I guess it does really just go from, like, one big place to another. Tall white structure far to the left across the plaza. Okay. Tall white structure. How many tall white structures are there around me? That's not very good. To the embassies. No. Oh. To the Citadel Tower and the wards. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's the tower. Is, is that the wards? Two wards. Yeah, I don't want that. I want the tower. Because this is where we kind of continue the mission. Uh, or mission set. I don't know. A keeper. Is that what you're called? Please do not disturb the keepers. Why? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. Hi. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower. Yep, I know. One of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Appreciate it. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. Okay. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. To be honest with you, I really don't want to talk to you right now. Thank you for using Avina. You're welcome. Have a pleasant day. You too. All right, everybody on. Why can't we just walk around the city with guns? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. I like the uh, personal interactions that we have in this game. Well, this is fancy. They got trees and everything up here. Ah, more of you guys. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Okay. Commander Hello. Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe Thank they'll you. listen to you. Eh, probably not. Um. Oh, man. Kind of on the fence here. Like, I want to go in and talk to the council right now. But at the same time, we don't have a heck of a lot of time left on today's video. I know it was a lot of walking around and kind of learning. Um. 
and I'm sorry about that. Rapid transit. There's no freaking car here. Also, we're inside of a building. Uh, but that being said, there is a lot to learn. The hearing's already started. Come on. I guess we're doing this. Also, that's the dude that voiced as uh, the president the in Rick and Morty. Is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. What do you mean? The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. What about that people? I saw him kill uh, Nihilus in witnessed. cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. Wow. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. False charges? You piece of shit. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Yeah. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Obviously, that dude is in on it. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Uh, there is a lot of dialogue and stuff that I would very much like to listen to, uh, but my ADD kind of prevents me from uh, having the ability to really, like, stick with it and really pay attention to what the heck is happening. And I have a feeling it's the same for all y'all that are watching this right now. Uh, so, time to move on. But that's also the end of our video, or end of the episode today. We're already kind of kind of pushing the time here a little bit. 
Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a lot of dialogue, a lot of walking around, unfortunately. Up to something. And what guy? Yeah, what the guy? By the keeper. Yeah, the one that's just sitting here on the ground. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Okay. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them. But the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay. Interesting. I guess we're scanning the keepers now. Uh, anyways, yeah. So, ADD and stuff. Uh, a lot of the following, you know, dialogue and that kind of stuff gets really, really difficult for me. I assume it's the same for you guys. I definitely want to kind of jump more into the action side of things. I love a good story. Um, but this is a very, very hefty intro to characters and people and all that sort of stuff. Well, I guess characters and people are the same thing, but... Anyways, uh, next episode, hopefully, we'll kind of get back out and start shooting some things again. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then uh, please come back and see me again. And we'll be back with some more Mass Effect. So, see you next time. Midnight Sun out. I can't believe the Council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operators. It's only natural they take his word over ours. <laughs> oh, so now we just chase leads while this smart Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. I love these human interactions. It's so great. All right, for real though. Midnight sign up.